I am unbelievably unfit. All I've done is bring my books in from my dressing room and my living room. Bear in mind it's all on the same floor and bring it all in here and I'm out of breath. It's embarrassing. <laughs> and now my laptop won't turn on. The lights are on, everything else is on, but the screen isn't on. This is becoming a chore. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to welcome back to my channel. But at the minute, I'm going through a bit of a book phase. It's been going on for a while now. Um, and if you've seen the last video, you'll have seen that everything that I've bought in the past couple of months, everything used to fit in just one drawer of my like wardrobe, but that's not the case anymore. <laughs> so what I've had to do is I finally caved and bought some of the Billy bookshelves. So I've got the full size Billy bookshelf and like the half width one. I'm finally going to get around to organising everything and putting them all on my shelves. So I've got all of my books laid out in front of me, or all the books that I've got at the moment. This is majority of my books, but there is quite a few at the minute that I've, like, my family or friends have got that I've, like, recommended they've gone on can I borrow it. So I am missing some, but I'm going to organise everything the best that I can. Why won't my laptop turn on? Um, so I'm going to start by trying to, like, organise everything into, like, a brief plan of how I want them laid out on my shelves, and then we'll get to actually organising them on the shelves. For now, I am going to try and keep the majority of my books to the main shelves, like the, the bigger ones, because this is also this is in the bedroom and my partner is also in here, so I want him to have some of the shelves. So I'm going to start by separating out all of my books and then we'll get to actually organising them onto the shelves. I am already so overwhelmed. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how well you can actually see me or if you can see me at all, but I'm gonna try and sort of organise them a little bit into like fantasy. I'm gonna have like a Disney shelf, romancy stuff, more crime related stuff, but then also if I've got like sets of three things like that, I do kind of want all of them sets together. I absolutely love organising, but at the same time, this is making me feel rather overwhelmed. <laughs> we'll be fine, we'll be fine. We'll just keep caffeinated and all will be fine. I hope. So I'm going to start by getting all like my big series together that aren't organised right now. So that's all my Disney Twisted Tales and then... Is that all of them? Yeah. And then my never after series so i'm gonna have like a disney themed shelf um i've then got my chestnut spring series they're all going on together somewhere i don't know where yet i've not got that far yeah house of night series so they're all gonna go on together i just need to sort them into the right order i'm gonna take these out of the wrapper which brings me so much joy so i do need to find out the correct order for these um because they've come in two separate things, but I thought Imagine was the second, so I'm a bit confused. So I'm going to Google that actually. This isn't helping me as much as I'd hoped. Okay, on the website there's like a layout of the book, so I think I'm just going to do them in that order. So where did these ones go? I have no idea what's going on, to be honest. Look, this is just hurting my head like you would not believe. I give up. For now, I'm going with this. I'm going to have a pile of like ones I need to look into for now. So, go behind the gates, the way I used to be, I'm going to leave to the side for now. Again, I don't know where these go, but I'm going to just put them with like my other random sets. Yeah, they can go over there for now. The Serial Killer series, so I've got wife, daughter and sister. I'm going to put them with my thriller ones. The flat share I'm going to put with my romancy books. And the Twisted series for now I'm just going to put with the Chestnut Spring ones. Just because I think they're all colourful and look pretty together. <laughs> are 
all sort of organised into what's what. I have also got a pile of books that I'm going to take to the charity shop as well or give to like family and friends. It's either stuff that I've read and just don't really want to keep or stuff that I've not read yet but from reading the back I don't think I'll really enjoy. Yeah. So I'm going to get to organising these on my actual shelves. For now I'm going to leave the top shelf blank because I want to save that for like either hardback books that are like my favourite books that I've bought special editions of or whatever and um, like I know I'm getting Verity and special editions soon because I'm obsessed with that book and they've come out with that limited edition one with the extra chapter in it um so I'm gonna leave the top shelf free for that or also like the Akatar series when I find the around to buying it the Akatar, Throne of Glass, uh, Throne of Glass, Crescent City, all that will go up here or something like that so I think what I'm gonna do is move on to the next one and have this as like my Disney shelf because I'm obsessed, so I'm gonna do that. But I am just using the cases as like little decorative pieces as well. And then obviously I've got the other series just there. Yeah, for now, that is Disney shelf done. So next I'm going to move on to sort of like my fantasy shelf. So I'm going to start with my House of Night series because that's sort of the main one that I'm reading at the moment. And then I'll figure out what to do with the rest because I know it's going to be more than one shelf but not enough for two yet. So we'll have a fight with it, see how we feel. Maybe the Shatter Me series next? Maybe? I'm just gonna get them all up here and then make a plan. Oh, they make it like the perfect height. Do I have them all sideways? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna switch them around again. I'm sorry, but does anyone else find that like really satisfying? It's basically like the perfect height, <laughs> or is that just me? Um, I'm then gonna put that one next, I think, and then just the two standalones I've got. There is a second one to this coming out, I think. I can't remember what it's called. I wanna say Reckless, maybe? But yeah, there's Powerless, and then I've just got the God Killer one as well. Okay, I'm literally obsessed with this so far, <laughs> but I've got a feeling from like here forward it's gonna get really stressful and confusing for me. What do I do next? I don't know what to do. Do I do like romancy ones and then do all the crime at the bottom, or oh, I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm glitching. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, there's not gonna be enough for me to do a full shelf of like romance books. So I'm going to have to start doubling up on, like, genres. Oh, this is really hurting my brain. My brain cannot do this right now. Help me. I don't actually know if you can see me right now, but I'm kind of hoping you can. Um, I'm thinking next, so I'm going to put my Colleen Hoover on this shelf, I think. I've only got four of her books at the moment, but I have plans to get many more because I do like her books a lot. So I'm definitely putting these on the next one. Not necessarily there. I'm just putting them there for now because I'm confused. I also want to put my Chestnut Spring series on here. What is the actual order for these? I really should have done more research before I began filming this video. Flawless, Heartless, Powerless, Reckless. Yes. Oh, oh, nearly. So that was a complete guess. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have Colleen Hoover. I'm gonna have those ones. There's obviously four of those, so I need to leave room. Realistically, it's gonna be like that. I think I'm gonna put my Flawed and Perfect on this shelf as well. I've then got Bridgerton and I have also got the Bridgerton 2, like the second one, so that will go there. And then I've got Flat Share and the way I used to be that I'm also just gonna randomly put on this shelf. I'm so confused, send help. The rest are all like thrillers, but they're all a bit random at the moment and I don't strictly know if they are all thrillers, if I'm being completely honest. This one's taller than the rest, so that is definitely going to an edge because it'll wind me up if not. If I've got any by the same author, I'm just gonna kind of put those together. And then after that, it's just gonna be by like similar edge designs to be completely honest because I just don't know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, what have I done? I did mention in my, um, my recent purchases and things that I'm trying to do the charity shop challenge with the James Patterson Women's Murder Club books. So these will eventually have their own shelves, but at the moment I only have two of them and there's 24. So 
for now they can just go with the rest of my books okay and then i do have a few lisa joel books i want to buy as well so do i put them with my colleen hoover books i've got so many ideas and i just don't know which one to go with okay for now i'm gonna put them my lisa joel books with my colleen hoover just to fill this shelf up a little bit more I'm just chucking them on at this point. Honestly, I'm just putting those that way because they're just sets of threes and I like to have a bit of something. They're all central though, do I like that? Or do I do some like off to the side? I'm overthinking this far too much. Now honestly the book at the bottom shelf is all just smut. I'm not gonna lie. So I've got like some Jay Kenner, I've got some Tara Sumi, I've got some at Sylvia, at Sylvia Day books as well. That's literally all just pure smut down there. These are all books that I'm getting rid of. Um, so I've got, I bought one separately of the um, House of Night series to read before I bought all of them because that was back when I had a little bit of common sense. And then there's just some other random ones. And then there's also, um, read that, didn't enjoy it. Read that, it was okay, didn't love it. I've not read that, but I don't feel like I'll ever reach for it either. And then two of the Chat Me series. So there's like a, a charity bookshelf on like where my local supermarket and they had four of the Morganville series and I was told that these aren't as good as the um, House of Night. So I probably just won't go for them because there's just so much other stuff I want to read. I'm just not gonna bother with this series. I'm gonna put them back on the shelves, I think at the um you put them back on the charity bookshelf this is sort of like an overview of my shelves before any decoration i know this one's looking a little bit empty but i do plan on sort of filling that up a little bit so this is just my little pot with all my like they've all just got numbers on that match one of the books like these ones that are all kind of standalone or um like the first one of that series and then once I've read that one I'll put it back in and then I'll read the second one if I don't want to read them all together. So I think I'm going to put that on here just to fill up some of the space. I've also got just like random little plants and things so I'm going to put that on here somewhere. Like I've got a little fake, it's not cactus, what, what do you call these? I don't know, you know what I mean, one of these. Um, but I think I might put there. I don't even know if you can see that. I don't feel like you can. Just up there. Plan. What is my plan? I've also got this little gift that a friend, like one of my best friends, gave me. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a really cute little plaque. So I'm gonna put that in front of the TBR thing. I think it just adds to the girly pink of the shelf. I also have another pink, pink, um, fake plant from IKEA that's in actually a candle jar. And this is something my mom brought me back from Cuba. And I'm gonna put that on the top shelf just to sort of fill up space for now. Oh, I've just found more books that were behind me. Honestly, these are all just such random books. <laughs> I'm stuck, I'm glitching again. They are all books I want. So for now, I'm just gonna put them there. Um, they're not necessarily romancy books. I've got BFG, but that's just like my favorite book from when like being really young. So I can't bring myself to get rid of it. Um, so they can stay there. I do feel like that still works. I'm happy with that. But now I'm kind of tempted to move them across there. I feel stressed. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Do we like that? Oops, sorry. Ow. This is sort of the best angle I can get you at while I show you just like me fill in Dan shelves. So Dan like mainly reads Dan Brown books as you can see. Um, 
The maximum ride there is my butt. Well, it actually it's my nan's and I need to give it back. So for now, it can just go on this shelf because it's the same height as the smaller Dan Brown books that he's got. And he's also got the uh, Fire and Blood book. So for now, that will do. Yes. I can't take it anymore. The books that I'm going to give to the charity shop or the charity shelf, I'm just going to put on um, one of those little ones at the bottom for now until I've got time to run them around because um, I'm not going today. <laughs> I've got so much to do still. So yeah, I'm just going to put them on there for now, but they're not staying. They actually fit perfectly on that bottom shelf. It's so satisfying. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a little overview. Now that the shelves are filled okay so that is my shelves fully organized and arranged and i'm really happy with how it turned out actually i wasn't expecting it to go this well <laughs> being completely honest with you um, but i'm super happy with them i'll insert like a photo so you can see it properly all together um anyway but yeah so i'm super happy with how it turned out i have quite a lot of growing room still because me and dan have already agreed that this is going to be condensed to sort of like three shelves so i've still got two well technically three full ones plus the one at the top and some space on the bottom um so i have still got some growing room but for now they look full enough that my brain's not going you have so much space buy more books um, i hope you enjoyed this video if there's anything you want me to read or think i should read next or that you recommend please let me know and i will definitely get around to purchasing it i do already want to read the akatar the throne of glass and the crescent city books anyway so they're already on my list but anything else that you recommend or think that i'd enjoy based on the books that i have please let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye!